As you guys saw, the Honda ran, it runs, it's golden, it doesn't resemble anything to the Honda CPR that is once used to be. I'll put a picture of about one like here. So the Honda that it's supposed to look like and how it looks like are two different things and let me tell you why so i got the honda with a deal with a derby a derby center from 2005 had eight, 18,000 kilometers it was blue and yeah i primarily wanted to buy a derby for like very cheap, 300-400 bucks, at the top end 400, but one guy messaged me that he had two bikes, one Honda CPR 125, so it's 125cc, and a 50cc derby, so he said, hey, here's the derby, it needs this and this and this, and then it can be it's finished but the Honda is a different story it needed like this and this and this 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 is just the start so it it primarily needed the Honda had lost its like the plate registration plate to the police and police said that it didn't have blinkers headlight muffler and a proper plate, plate holder or any mirrors. So it was a little bit illegal in here, Finland. So I needed to get all of those things fixed, take it to the inspection, and then they would check it, the bike out that it all had all of those things, and then it would get its registration plate back once it all had done once i did all of those things got the headlight plate holder uh, the front fairing then the gauge speedometer for others and yeah got all of what the police wanted so I got all of that, took it to the inspector, the inspector said, yeah, that's okay, they gave me the plate for the motorcycle back, and then I installed the plate, which after it could be moved around uh, easier than before, it had a plate, so I could just drive it up and down, and have it like in one place and other place, just drive it there. So the next step was to sand the uh, gas tank, the fairings, all that uh, down. It had uh, groovings 
and a bad paint job to it. Gas tank had some dings and dongs to it, so it also needed to be smoothed out. Uh, I did somewhat a somewhat a okay job. It could be improved on the gas tank and the smoothness of the pay like the the surface. It isn't the smoothest. You can with the light see a little bit like it. it. So yeah, it's now painted. It has all the wiring, gauges, all that done. What it had, but it had a lot, a lot of the fairings missing. It just didn't come with them, as I bought it. So I need to make to it under the engine fairing, the lower fairing. I can put a big picture to to my right, no, to my left, a picture of a fairing, the engine lower fairing, and what I'm gonna do on the left. No, but I did in some sides. Anyway, I need to do a fairing like that out of alu aluminium. Why aluminium? Because that can be made shiny. As you guys have seen on this uh, channel that I uh, tried at least to polish up this radiator cover and it, this was like the practice run and it came out okay. It's good enough for the scooter. So yeah, that was the practice run and the main goal now that I know what that takes and what I should do on the aluminium bearing then I will know what to do because I practiced on that so it needs the lower fairing done then it needs the paint shop to be sanded down then it needs the license plate holder where I had put some fiber Fiberglass that needs to be a little bit cleaned off for the fiberglass filler. Then it will need, yeah, the paint job as I mentioned. It needed some sanding down and then polishing machine. That's the major things done. Then it will need a new gauge because the what is currently installed it got water into it and now it doesn't show any lights on it. It just shows the speed, but none of the lights work. That's the Honda, and hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you are excited for some upcoming videos of it. So stay tuned, because I have a lot of uh, a videos planned for that thing. And as also I have other videos planned to it to go along like I will be doing a, a video about this rim and one day beautiful summer day I will finish that variator cover and make a video about it thank you for watching this episode hopefully you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode of uh, 